KR4HH. KR4HH. Go ahead. Yeah, hey, Jim. Uh, Dr. VKV, you, I know you're closing up shop, but uh, just wondered if I, I could get a quick check. I've got a new radio here. If you could give me a quick analysis. Yes, sir. Tell me uh, 10 seconds about your antenna system. Okay, Jim. I've got a 40-meter uh, dipole, uh, inverted V, up about uh, 40, 45 feet. And uh, that's really it. Quite simple, over Roger, the dynamic, dynamic range looks pretty good, but just to double check, you are running your compressor at a three. Is that a Roger? I am, Jim, and this is uh, this radio has an in and out, so I guess a release and a attack and a release on that compressor. Uh, Roger. Well, do you have a like a normal setting or? Well, it goes from zero to one hundred, and I've got. Let me see. Uh, I've got 30, you know, for in, and uh, on the output, I've got uh, I've got it at 55. Sounds good, sounds good. So then you go to your ALC, and, uh, and speaking naturally into your microphone, adjust your ALC by way of mic gain control to uh, mid-scale to two-thirds. Yeah, yeah, that's about what I'm seeing. Uh, what do you have for the dynamic range? Uh, it looks to be 3 dB, but it uh, does uh, punch through from time to time. That's why I was uh, curious. What radio is that? It's a Kenwood 890. Oh, uh, Roger. What age is that? Uh, it's, uh, well, the radio came out about two years ago, but I've had this radio only about two weeks. I see. Well, uh, again, I would uh, double check my ALC uh, and uh, just uh, speaking naturally into your microphone, adjust your mic gain to where your ALC is running mid scale to two thirds. Roger? Yeah, yeah. Well, I went back and forth and then I adjusted the uh, compression, and based on my meter, uh, compression is running about maybe five as much as seven dB on uh, peak. And uh, then I went back and tweaked the, uh, the mic gain, uh, kind of back and forth between that, you know, and the compressor. I tried to get uh, what, I, what I thought sounded like a good balance. Yeah, Roger. The whole thing about, uh, you know, what, what we're trying to do is wind up with a 3 dB dynamic range. And, uh, you know, that's why uh, the limited amount of uh, compression at a 3, it's a token amount, something that you will never hear that compressor operating. The thing is, um, what we want to do is set up our equipment intelligently. Uh, and so uh, if a compressor is set up intelligently, you'll never hear it working. It just does its thing, and, and you can't you can't hear it. The same way with, uh, uh, you know, when you move up uh, to the um, to the ALC, when you adjust that ALC from mid scale to two thirds, that uh, you're listening to the output of the limiter. That's what your ALC meter is uh, is showing. So uh, you know you're just. Uh, pushing that uh, that limiter just a little bit. You don't want to ever push a limiter too hard because the the difference between a compressor and a limiter is the attack times. Compressor is a very slow attack and release time, so you can compress 20 dB and, 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 and not have much distortion. A limiter is a, a instantaneous attack and almost instantaneous release, and you can't force that too much more than maybe 3, 4 dB before it uh, starts having a problems so uh, you know again if you adjust your uh, your mic gain to where your uh, your ALC is running mid scale to two thirds after you do those two things your dynamic range should be a 3 dB Roger okay gotcha Jim yeah well that's the ALC is going a, a tad higher on, on peaks but I think I think this is about where it needs to be and uh, I know you've got the golden ears just wanted to, to run it by you Yes, sir. Now, you might want to consider also a, a windscreen for that mic. Okay, I got one. Uh, it's on it now, Jim, and uh, has it cut the highs any? No, sir. No, sir. Good foam windscreen that does not uh, interfere with the frequency response at, at all. It only uh, dis uh, disbands the uh, uh, the uh, the wind velocities. It uh, dis disseminates the wind velocities to uh, keep those uh, mouth noises and uh, plosives uh, out of your speech, Roger. Now, can you tell the difference? I just switched SDRs. Uh, give me that again, please, sir. SDRs. Uh, give me that again, please, sir.
Okay, uh, KC9 VKV KR4HH. Yeah, yeah, Jim. I just put the uh, the windscreen on the mic. I didn't know if uh, it was noticeable at this point or not. Uh, sounds beautiful. I would I would just keep it there. I just like I say, went to the SDR because you had faded down a little bit uh, on my local antenna. Let me go back to my local antenna and uh, give me uh, ten seconds about what you like best about your radio. It's about what you like best about your radio. Which could fade as well. Uh, I guess from QS Baker. Well, you know, I've had the radio like I say a couple of weeks, but I do like the fact that I can uh, adjust the transmit uh, bandwidth. Uh, a little bit wider when conditions permit. Uh, that's really neat. And uh, I like the fact that it's, uh, you know, pretty much a manual radio. <clears throat> it's got a lot of knobs on it. I like uh, just to control the radio that way. Uh, I don't really at this point want to operate a uh, uh, amateur radio with a computer over. Uh, roger that. Roger that. Looks good. That looks uh, real good. Roger, Roger. Okay. Good enough. Well, you you're probably already a pumpkin, but don't do it in October, or you might become a, a jack-o'-lantern pretty quick, over. Yeah. <laughs> be running through the woods. No, I'm a pumpkin. I don't want to be a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> All right. And uh, let's see here. What's your, uh, what's your location, sir? Yeah, Jim. I'm right outside of Columbia, South Carolina. I'm in West Columbia, uh, 15 miles west of downtown Columbia, over. All right. And what's the name again, please? Dave. Dave, Delta Alpha Victor Echo. And the radio? Uh, the radio is a Kenwood TS-890. Great, great. All righty. Well, you know the drill about uh, getting to YouTube and all that stuff? Uh, yeah, I've been on your show before. Yep. Great. All right. Let me get out of here. <laughs> uh, threes to you, Dave, and uh, thanks for dropping by. If you get a chance, join us next uh, Friday. Roger. Thank you, Jim. Thanks for taking me in. Have a great weekend. KC9 VKV KR4HH73. Roger, Roger, Dave. Three is that way, sir. And again, this is KC9 VKV, and uh, we will be returning this frequency to normal amateur radio use. KC9 VKV is clear.